Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your April 2024 reading. Before I begin, I just want to let you guys know I posted something on the community post that if you guys are not receiving notifications and you have subscribed and you had hit the notification bell and you used to get them or, you know, you're not getting them for whatever reason, please leave your um, handle on that post there all you need to leave is your handle just your handle so it makes it easier i want to send it to youtube and i don't want all the extra wording because i'm not going to reply to these i'll just give you a, you know a like and a heart but i'm not going to reply to anything you say so only put your handle there and that would be say your name is joe smo 123 so put at joe smo 123 you know whatever your handle is or maybe your handle you didn't personalize it then it might be at user user, yeah, user. <laughs> I can say it, user, and then letters and numbers mixed together. So it'll be like um, 5, 4, Q, Z, A, B, C, I don't know, but all mixed up. So, and if you don't know what your handle is, you can always send a comment to me, something that you know, something, you know, something that only you would write, maybe Firefly or something like that, and then look for that, and then, you know, see what your handle is. It'll be right above your comment. Saying where it's coming from. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's see what's going on for you for April. Starting out, we're starting out the front door. So the front door is what's about to enter your life. And we have here the four of C. Ooh. So there might be an offer coming in, but you might not be interested in not seeing it. Or, you know, this also could be someone feeling like they might have missed out on something here. But this is what's coming in. I think someone wants to come in with an offer for you. Let's see if we get on this. We have here, ooh, the hangman. Someone could have been waiting a long time to come towards you. Maybe afraid to approach it. Maybe afraid you might refuse them. So yeah, so they could be not, you know, now they might be gaining a different perspective or gaining um, the nerve, the strength. Let's see what else we get on this. Pisces energy here. Um, we have here, okay, we have a mature man, but it's in reverse. So I would say this man's not so mature. Maybe, you know, they might be mature. <laughs> like this could be, this could be age, or this could actually be, you know, the way they act. But maybe, or it could, you know, I'm almost feeling like someone is more mature. But when it comes to you, they get all, they fall over themselves. They they fumble. They, they get immature acting. They... You, you make them nervous, I think. So, um, yeah, so this is a mature person that is not acting very mature. Put it that way. It could be male or female. Um, most likely it's male because of the card, but you could always reverse or reverse. Oh, what am I talking? I am, I am fumbling. I'm getting this person's energy. I'm fumbling all over the place with this reading. Wow. Okay, so let's move on to... The kitchen. Let's see what's cooking in your kitchen. My stomach's going to start growling. So, eight of sky. So, someone's very nervous. Maybe what's cooking or, or what this person's trying to plan, they're trying to cook up something and they're very nervous about whether or not it's going to work. I still feel like it's this person's energy. Very nervous. Nervous Nelly here. And we have the four of swords trying they want to heal something i think someone's coming in they don't know how to do this they want to heal a situation with you they want to bring in healing okay and then we have here message of concern oh 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 i hope not you know this almost feels like are they going to try to say well maybe if i can get um gemini to feel sorry for me Oh, I hope not, because if that's not true, then you're going to get pissed. <laughs> so, um, this might be just giving you a heads up that they're, they're trying to plan something. I don't really feel like it's devious. I just feel like they're desperate, especially with the Eight of Swords. They're feeling desperate about how they really want to talk to you, but they're not thinking correctly is what I'm feeling, because that's the way my mind feels all scrambled right now. So, that's what it feels like. Let's go to the living room. What are you currently living with? So, we're going to the living room. Let's see. We have here the Ten of C. So here's a happy family. Happy home life. So right now in your living room, you're living in a very happy home life. Okay. So 
So let's see. We got the Ten of Cups, Ten of C. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Maybe everybody's pulling their own way. Everything's balanced out. And then this person comes in to try to rock the boat, huh? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Okay, so then we have here a wealthy man. Okay, so someone's wealthy in the household. Is that you? Is that someone you're living with? Is, you know, whatever. But there is a wealthy, there's wealth in the house. So everybody's happy. And, and it feels like everybody's sharing, everybody's um, pitching in. It's like it's all working out well. I don't know if I like this person showing up then. It almost feels they have too much anxiety, too much nervousness. And they're going to like, um, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. But let's see. Let's go on to the next one. Um, the next one will be. Let's go to the office. So this be your work career. Let's see what we get on that. We have here the high priestess. Ooh. So are you keeping what you do for a living a secret? Virgo cancer energy. Or are you someone that is very intuitive and use their intuition? Are you a reader maybe? Let's see what this card coming up. It's either you're keeping secrets or you're very intuitive or you use your intuition with your work somehow. Okay, so let's get, and this could also be what you're working on. You're being very secret about. you got the Queen of Swords here. So I, for some of you, it's the idea that you're being very secret. You're working on something and you're keeping, it's like mom's word. It's like maybe you're starting something new or you're ready to start a new business or a home business maybe even. But you're keeping it quiet. So let's see. Queen of Swords. There's some kind of secret or someone's using intuition in some way. We have here. Ooh. But there's um, Pegasus. So there's a messenger of good news. I do feel like you guys are very intuitive though. So you might be using that. Let's get another one and then we'll do the words. We have change. Ooh. So something's going to change as far as your work or your career. You might be in the process. It almost feels like you're keeping something qu quiet. So you might be in ready to make a move or change something here. Let's see about the words on this Queen of Swords. We have here feelings. TikTok. Ooh, a tower. Confess. Okay. So something, you feel like there's something about time. Time is of the essence here. Something's happening with time. And it might something might explode or something might come out. Something might be revealed uh, with the tower. Aries Scorpio energy. And you might have to confess. Maybe you have to maybe you're not telling anyone else that you're working on something else or planning on leaving your job to do something else or whatever it is. But something might come out. And or you're, else you're just feeling that. You say, Oh, I better say something because I feel like something's gonna be exposed. Especially if your intuition is strong. You'll be right on with that. So let's see about the bedroom. Let's go to the bedroom. Okay, in the bedroom we have the Eight of Earth. What are you working on in the bedroom? Are you are you working on your bedroom? Some of you guys might actually be remodeling your bedroom. Oh, geez. the light came flying down. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't break anything. That was my fault. I kicked the wire. Well, I got nervous from in the bedroom. <laughs> Okay, see, that's me. I got nervous in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, so someone's working on something in the bed. I don't know. Is that lining not as good? Let me pause it. Okay, I hope that's okay. I'm, I'm right next to a window where I have everything laid out. So I'm always changing something because the lighting's always changing. And it's supposed to get really foggy later and it's supposed to get dark. So I'm trying to do this early so that I don't have to keep on worrying about that stuff. Wow, but okay. <laughs> so what happened? What is something coming to light in the bedroom? Something... With the light coming down, I mean, what is that? Everything's a sign. So, um, we have something about working on something in the bedroom or working together with someone. I, a lot of you guys could be just remodeling your bedroom at this time. Let's see. Let's see what else we get. Kind of figure this out. Okay, so we have the fool, a new beginning. Okay, so yeah, you definitely could be remodeling. Um, the, changing the bedroom, changing your color, doing something, rearranging, redecorating, or it could be there's going to be a new person that you're working on having someone new in the bedroom, right? <laughs> okay, now we have poverty. Ooh, I don't like that. Why do we have poverty? Someone's feeling lack. Maybe this is just saying you want something new in the bed and you're working on it because you feel like there's been lack 
in that department, in the romance department. That's what, you know, I'm going to throw some cards on it. I don't know if I'm going to regret doing this, but let's see. So we have the fool. We have the the work, the um, honing, honing your craft. Is that what you do? <laughs> let's see. Let's see here. We have um, the nine of pentacles. Okay. This is a single energy, but it's also it could be abundance here. And we have the knight of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, what is going on here? All right. So now with this, this is very interesting. It's almost like starting something, something holding back, wanting to work on something. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles, which could be like a very independent type of energy, but it also could be something's going to pay off here. Um, we have a Knight of Swords, which is very determined energy. Definitely could be you, or it could be another Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, but it could be anyone. But there also could be someone's holding on hope, holding on to something, or holding back. You know, we have, no. someone might feel like lack of something holding back or afraid of losing something. Someone could also be afraid of losing someone in romance here. But this is a very determined energy and it's, someone might want to be single. That, that could be too. With, someone might be working on being single here. Okay, take it how it might resonate with you. And like I always say that with these readings, have a pad and a pen. And as I'm telling you messages or any other reader, if something pops into your head, write it down because that's the angels and guys giving you a personal message. So um, let me get a charm here on this Knight of Swords. We have here scissors. Yes, yeah, someone might be cutting someone out. Someone might be removing someone from the bedroom. Maybe someone's working on, you know, maybe this, I mean, we have a happy home life here, so I don't know. But then again, take the parts that resonate. Let's see. Let's get the word. Someone could also cut hair or um, maybe cut something out of the bedroom. Oh, we have a tower. Some kind of surprise in the bedroom. Eventually, pleasure. <laughs> okay, so something's going to surprise you at Eventually, there's going to be pleasure before there's a poverty. <laughs> okay, so airy Scorpio energy. So expect some sudden surprise. And expect, maybe, you know, maybe someone is, is learning things. Hmm, that could be. I mean, we did start out with the Eight of Pentacles, which is honing your craft, um, working on something. You know, really trying to get something to work right. <laughs> okay, so you guys take it how you want. <laughs> oh, I'm getting silly. <laughs> okay, so now let's move on to the spare bedroom. Let's see what other things are in there. <laughs> we have here the Ace of Sea. Ooh, who has who in the other bedroom? Do you have... <laughs> See, we have multiple bedrooms here. Is it like um, mu musical bedrooms or something? We have the Ace of Cups here, Ace of C. So there might be something happening in that bedroom. <laughs> Let's see. What shall we see? We ha Oh, no, no, no. There, there's a Three of Swords. Okay, there might be. And this happy, coming across as very happy household. Everybody working together and balancing out. But there might be a little hanky-panky in the other bedroom here. This is like a third party. Hmm. Okay, let me get a clarifier. Very interesting reading here. We have the house. Okay, so the house card came up in the spare bedroom. So something is... This could be something to do with family home. Um, could be real estate. I mean, but I, I don't know what to do with the house here. Something is happening. You also could be maybe doing something different in the bedroom. Maybe changing it. I don't know. It's like, um, I'm going to have to get some more cards because I'm very confused. The, the You know, why do we have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the house? Let's see. Temperance, balancing things out, being patient with something. Okay. Um, we have judgment. Okay. <laughs> and we have the moon, secrets, hidden. I don't know. I think there's a little hanky-panky going on in the other bedroom. 
And I think someone's trying to balance it out. Patient. I don't know about that. Maybe it's just saying it's the Sagittarius that's coming up here. The moon could be Pisces. Hmm. All right, guys. Now, remember, that it's a general reading. It's not going to be for everyone. So, let's go see. Um, okay, now I'm going to go to the attic and see what's hidden in the attic. What is hiding in your attic? Let's see. We have here Ten of Earth. Okay, there could, you know what? I'm going to say here for someone, the first thing that they show me, if there's something that's worth a lot of money in your attic, maybe you don't realize it. There might be like a heirloom of some sort or something that's worth some money. Um, also, it's, um, yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm getting money here. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles, either commitment or money or legacy it could be something a inheritance or something there's something in the worth money in the attic okay let's get more into that we have the two of swords okay so someone's uncertain about what to do about maybe someone's aware of this item whatever this is and um but they're uncertain what to do about it if they should say anything if they shouldn't maybe they know it's worth money but they don't want to know if they tell anybody else or should they go and take get it appraised or not so someone's stuck in there um they don't know what to do they're blindfolded here and they might get be getting like a nagging feeling uh, coming to maybe someone else is saying you know go maybe they know about it and saying go take that and get it appraised let's see we have bad health okay someone feels bad about this so it's like i think someone should tell the rest of the family or whatever about it but because otherwise it's making them sick. So I think they should be open about it. But maybe, maybe they'll do it, maybe they won't. Let's see what the possible outcome is for April for you guys. So we have here the Three of Sky. Now this is someone, these two are trying, there might be um, a distance between you and others. And it's like everybody's trying, the, the Three of Sky, guys like the three of swords which we had over here but this is like trying to come together so i think there might be some kind of disagreement or something maybe it's about this this thing here and everybody has to come together on this because er, there are different no one knows how to cross the water right and there are different points so uh, it almost feels like the three of swords is saying that everybody has a different point of view about something so let's see what we get on that oh it could be about anything so let's see we have here the ace of swords speaking the truth and cutting something out so maybe that's the whole thing someone has to speak their truth on something and maybe it's something about removing something or someone maybe it's a hanky panky that's going on over here let's see we have here high honors so someone is going to get recognized or get um attention for something that they're doing here okay so we're going to see what's on the bottom we have here this is the seer so this is um and this deck is a seer. So this would be like the hangman. But this is knowing something. Um, realizing something. Pisces energy. Someone that has a lot of wisdom. Okay, on the bottom of this deck, we have the seven of swords. See, this is something being sneaky. There's some kind of, you know, it's, this is coming up that the family looks really, doing really good, but... I don't know if it's one bad sheep here or something, but and again, maybe it's not for you that part. But there's something going on here. There's some kind of sneaky energy here. Someone is sneaking around, but they're going to get caught, be, caught because the seer, because it might be your in energy here, that you're aware of everything that's happening because your intuition is on fire. So I think you're aware of what's happening here. Someone's doing something sneaky, whatever that is in, in your situation. I think you know. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck here. We have official person. This might actually be someone that might be might get involved in this. With this is something a little heavy duty for some. Now again, don't get nervous about it because if this is not for you, then don't make it yours. Um, but it also could be that maybe someone in the house is someone that wears a uniform, whether that's um, you know a police officer or a fire person. Or whatever it might be someone might say that there's an official person and but maybe they might be keeping something secret about something here something 
yeah something that someone's hiding but they're gonna it's gonna come out it's gonna and i think eventually whatever happened here you know what's going on you you're aware of it then we have here the two of wands i think you're gonna be at a crossroads to make a decision about something you know most of the reading i think is pretty good here um but there's someone doing something somewhere um you might be aware of it might not let's see what we get for the signs Okay, let's see what signs you could be dealing with. So placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have here Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aries. Aries and Pisces. You know what I just thought of? Okay, uh, let me just finish this. The, um, this is placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts. Um, past, present, future, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Aries, and Pisces. I was coming up with this, that there's a very happy family, you know, unit here. Everything is going smoothly. Now, this person that's, that's a lot of anxiety and nervousness comes in. That kind might be that maybe someone is married or involved it's a this person comes in that's where maybe there's hanky panky in the spare room it might be this person and it might be you're involved with this person or someone else is involved with the person but whatever the case is you know about it is what i'm feeling you're the the intuition here but yeah so maybe or it could be someone else that is sneaking someone into the spare bedroom but they could be going from bedroom to bedroom too so i don't know i'm gonna leave that alone all right guys so remember um this is a general reading so it might resonate with you it might not or just parts of it might resonate with you um please let me know what you think about this i thought this is a very interesting read um so please leave comments it really does help my channel and if it does not resonate with you and checked out your sun, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more or it might give you that missing piece, that missing link. And you might uncover something here. So um, you'll check that out. And um, the missing part of the puzzle, you know. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.